Hey everyone, in today's video I want to show you this set of Procreate brushes that I've been using for the past few months. These brushes were recommended to me by Rob Sketcherman, my urban sketcher friend from Hong Kong. And these brushes, they are made by George V. West. I've been using the default Procreate brushes for the longest time and I didn't know what I was missing out until I tried these brushes. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I just want to share this because these brushes, they are really uh, terrific. So George is an artist and he also happens to make brushes for Procreate. Procreate is a drawing app on iOS and he sells these brushes online on different platforms. This is the Gumroad page where he has many different sets available for sale. Many are just around five to ten dollars. And many of the smaller brush sets are actually collected within this mega pack here. So this is just fifteen dollars and it has over four hundred and fifty brushes including some color swatches. So this is the one that I want to show you today. This is the one that I bought. So I'll put the link in the video description below in case you're interested to get it. So let me just show you how to install these brushes. I need to open up Procreate first, create a new canvas, and I need to put the brush packs on the right side here. I've already unzipped and downloaded all the files onto my iPad. It doesn't matter which iPad you are using, as long as you are using the latest version of Procreate. So this is the folder GVW Procreate Mega Pack version 18, last updated on March 23rd, 2018. So inside this folder, there are the different brush sets available. There are a lot. I am just going to show you the ones that I am using. To install the brushes, you have to have Procreate side by side with the Files app. So to install the brushes, just click on the brush icon here. Just tap on the list of brushes and drag down and you'll see this plus icon. Click on it and I'm going to name this new brush set custom. And now we have this blank space here. Let's import this folder called ink brushes. You have to go into the folder, select all the brushes that you want. I want to select everything. So I click select all, use the Apple Pencil, click and hold and drag it over. You'll see the green icon there and all the brushes will be imported. To import color swatches, you just have to click this color button here and go find a folder for color swatches. There are many to choose from. Let me just import one. So this is called basic color and just drag over to the color palette and it's imported. Now that we have the brushes and color palettes imported, let's test them out. So I'm going to close the files app by dragging it to the right side and click the brush icon here, go to my custom palette and pick a brush. I will just test um, all these brushes. For the ones that I do not like, I will just swipe to the left and click delete. You can also create additional sets of folders for brushes of different characteristics. Just drag down the brush list to show the plus icon and create those sets. I have created one set for wet brushes, another one for manga brushes, screen tone and flicks. So from the long list of brushes that you have imported, just delete away those that you don't want and drag those that you like to the specific folder to rearrange them, to group them according to your personal preference. There are over 400 brushes, so let me just pick a few to test. I'm going to select this. I'm going to pick a color, this dark red color. You will only get pressure sensitivity if you are using Apple Pencil. Let me just draw a very quick sketch. So this is the brush. I'm going to zoom in closer and switch to another brush. I'm going to create another layer. 
So I'm going to put this layer below so that I can color these three trunks. I'm going to pick this brown color and switch to this very wet brush. And paint using the side of the Apple Pencil. So you can see the lovely textures from this brush. There are so many brushes that it can be a bit confusing as to which ones to use, so you have to try them one by one. And I like this brush. I want to switch to another brush, to a black color brush. And now to color the shadow area of the tree here. I love the texture here, it's really nice. Let me use the red brush that I was using earlier. So this is a very nice textured brush. Really love it. I'm drawing a Chinese temple by the way. So to test the brushes you would have to uh, my suggestion is to draw the same thing, the same subject, and switch to a different brush and see if you like the brush versus the new brush that you have selected. So with the first brush that I've chosen, this one, the lines are slightly darker, more solid. When drawing with this particular brush, there is less white in the strokes. And when I switch to the other brush, the second brush here, when I draw with it, I can feel that there is more white in the strokes. It's like there is less water in this particular brush. So you have to compare them side by side in order to see the very subtle uh, difference, to make it easier for you to see the subtle difference. Let me just show you the sketch that I drew yesterday. So the texture of the brush, it looks really nice. See the texture of the sky. Many of the default Procreate brushes are actually quite good, but sometimes they can look a bit digital. So with this brush pack, there are many brushes that have a lot of texture. So when drawing lines like this, you can see the rough edges there. And you see this orange paint, it has some smudges here at the edges. And also when painting over large areas like this, you can see some areas the paint didn't quite uh, reach the canvas, which is very nice, it creates the texture. And these are the uh, those very dry or wet brushes that I showed you earlier. Very nice. So when creating digital drawings, I'm trying to make the drawing look as less digital as possible. I try to use brushes that really mimic traditional brushes, those with a lot of uh, texture. So let me show you other brushes that are available. Let me just create another file. So let's take a look at the screen tone brushes. These are very nice. So there are many for you to choose from. Just um, Keep the ones that you like and delete the ones that you don't. If not, there are going to be too many brushes uh, on the palette and that can get a bit confusing. So let me just zoom in. So this screen tone, it's quite tight. The dots are quite tight together. This is reverse screen tone. Let me choose one that has um, the dots more spaced out. Ah, this is this looks like this except it's not reverse but when I compare this to this you can see the dots here smaller and more spaced out there are so many for you to choose from this looks a bit blur now when you apply multiple layers of screen tone it's going to look like this So they will just overlay onto each other to produce different values. The screen tone brushes, they are very nice. Let me show you the flicks. 
the splatter marks so the splatter marks are something that I use pretty often so let me just choose this splatter mark so you can apply splatter using the Apple Pencil or you can use your finger let's add some ink splatter to this sketch earlier so I'm going to use my finger and put some dots on the ground just by dragging my finger across I can also use Apple Pencil and tap in this area now there is ink splatter but sometimes it's very faint if you just tap like that so the quicker way for me to get those very intense color is to use use my finger if you need to create little dots over a small area you can use the pencil so having this additional ink splatter and dots uh, they add additional texture to your art there are way too many brushes for me to show you so if you do get this set which is really worth the money you can test out all these brushes at your own time so there are also some Copic and marker brushes golden ratio brushes pattern brushes animal fur brushes Bob Ross brushes pastel crayon pencil and sketch brushes SFX brushes, um, watercolor brushes, um, there are a lot. So for US $15, I think this is really worth the money. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. See you in the next one. Bye.